Welcome! This is my review of Marvel Universe, Marvel's Greatest Battles comic pack featuring Wolverine and Silver Samurai. And welcome back. Here is a quick look at the actual packaging for the comic pack. The comic, of course, comes packaged in the background, the figures in front, and on the back, we have a look at the other comic packs, Marvel's uh, Deadpool and Taskmaster, and Sentry and Spider-Man. And, of course, here is the comic itself, uh, featuring a very cool-looking cover, as you can see there, Wolverine and the Silver Samurai in battle. Now, as you can tell by the artwork, it is a old school comic. And if you look down here in the corner, it does say 88. However, if you turn the page and look inside, you've got some very modern looking art. And uh, it features a, a short story with a silver samurai, of course, and Wolverine. And you've got a really nice picture here of the two facing off. Alright, so that's a look at the comic. So let's take a look at each of these figures in detail. Alright, so let's take a close look at Wolverine first. And he looks pretty good. You know, oftentimes in these comic packs you'll get one figure that you really want and the second figure is maybe, if you're lucky, it's something you kind of want but if you're unlucky it's something you really didn't want. So you really uh, for this particular comic pack, the Wolverine here is not that bad. I would have preferred that he was in some some of his more traditional costuming, but eh, what are you going to do? As it is, the costume he has on right now appears to be like almost like street clothes. It's a combination of dark blue and black. And there's no really rhyme or reason to the coloring. You can see here blue, black, blue. I would have thought that there would be black for like shading, but it's, it's pretty random. It's not, uh, it doesn't bother me, it's just kind of an interesting thing to note, I guess. And you can see the claws here, they are soft plastic. And in my case, the claws had fused themselves together, as you can see right here. I just took a hobby knife and separated the claws, so that was not a big deal. Uh, as far as articulation goes, his head really can only go left and right. There's no really up and down movement for his head. A uh, head sculpt, as you can see there, is pretty detailed. And as far as shoulder articulation, you do have a ball hinge shoulder. There is no um, bicep articulation. You do have a swivel and a bend at the elbow, or a swivel and a hinge, uh, rotation at the wrist. Uh, you've got ab articulation. There is no waist articulation, and you've got these um, Iron Man 2 style ball hinges where you can rotate the ball joint depending on which way you want the leg to go forward or to the side. And then of course you have that independent articulation at the thigh, double bend at the knee, and then you've got a swivel and a hinge joint at the ankle. So overall good articulation and good paint apps, uh, despite the fact that it's kind of an odd combination of black and blue and, and kind of random as how they uh, apply the paint, it still actually looks good to me. So, not, not too shabby, but of course the real treat in this two-pack is going to be the Silver Samurai, or is the Silver Samurai, uh, excuse me, is the Silver Samurai. Now this is a fantastic figure. As you can see, it comes with these two, uh, one long and one short blade. And everything is very, very nice. What you got to watch out for, as far as paint apps go, you got to watch out for bleeding. Let me see if I can change the light here. Watch out for bleeding so that the, the skin tone color does not bleed into the silver or vice versa and I did notice that on some figures, so I was lucky enough to catch that and I picked one out that was fairly decent. The other paint issue you got to watch out for is the stripes here on his chest. 
one because it's such a bright color and two because it's such a central location to the figure now you can see there's a little bit bleeding over there but not as bad as the other two examples I saw that were on the pegs and a fantastic detail look at all the little rivets in his armor and this guy is very very nice even uh, look at the legs here the detail they have in the legs uh, just fit, simply fantastic figure and uh, as we'll see in a, in a few minutes here the articulation is very very good too as well all right uh, articulation well you've got uh, left and right you can look they have the head look left and right but you also have a little hinge joint there which allows the head to look up and down quite freely which is nice and the helmet is just sculpted onto his head so this is all one piece you can't take off the helmet which I don't think you'd want to anyway so uh, no big that no big problem there I'm going to remove the blades and the blades can go into these little loops here on the side of his armor so they can go through there quite nicely um, you've got a ball hinge shoulder shoulder joint and you do have a swivel at the bicep in this case uh, you have a bend here it doesn't swivel just a bend and you have rotation at the wrist of course you've got the ab articulation and you also have a little bit of waist articulation which is nice the armor here is somewhat flexible I wouldn't want to uh, bend it too far it might just stay that way so um, the hips are on a ball joint but then you got the swivel joint at the thigh there double bend at the knee you have articulation here at the lower leg and you do of course have articulation at the ankle now the ankle does have a hinge joint right there as you can see which allows the foot to pivot like that now you can't really rotate it because what happens is this you can see how it kind of clashes against the bottom of the armor it's a weird type of joint but ultimately what you can do and what it allows you to do is you can pose the figure with a wide stance and you can still keep the feet fairly flat if not all the way flat on the ground which is a very very nice feature to have in an action figure as you can see there I also want to point out that the figure holds the blades very nicely you can see both hands are cast in a closed grasping hand so there that you can see there's a very nice fit for the for both of the blade hilts so no worries about it falling out as you can see if you can only buy one of the comic packs in the Marvel Universe line this is the one to buy in my opinion the Silver Samurai of course is fantastically detailed well articulated well armed it's a brilliant figure and the Wolverine itself is not half bad either I would have preferred like I said before to have the more traditional X-Men Wolverine costume but hey um, I'm pretty happy with it nonetheless and considering these are normally fourteen dollars I still think it's a good buy because you know each figure is around seven dollars if they were to sell it separately and speaking of selling it separately the only reason I can think of to not get this comic pack is if the Silver Samurai is going to be released in the future as a single carded figure if that's the case then maybe you should wait just just to get the Silver Samurai alone alright well this has been my review of the Marvel Universe greatest battles comic packs featuring Wolverine and Silver Samurai thanks for watching